What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys the craziest trade I've ever done. So, I have not done that many trades in general in like a long time, so this one was pretty, pretty wild. So it's a card that I recently graded in the last PSA video. I'm going to show you guys what it is in just a second before the giveaway. Giving away these three cards, we're going to give away some old school cards in honor of an old school trade. All you have to do is like this video and tell me what you think about this trade. So the card I'm trading away is the PSA 10 Gaia the Dragon Champion that we graded the other day. Yes, I am trading it away. For what you ask, you will see in this video. So this is going to be a two-part video. I'm going to show you guys the card I'm trading. We're going to talk a little bit about why it's valuable and why it's so desirable. And then I'm going to show you the cards that I got in the trade when they come in the mail, probably in the next couple of days, but I'll put it all into one video so you guys can see everything. So first of all, this is the Guy the Dragon Champion from Legend of Blue Eyes First Edition. This is a Pop 33 in PSA 10. It's pretty low. It may be the lowest in LOB. It's pretty close. I think Flame Swordsman's down there as well. So it's pretty low. Not very many 10s have been graded in general. So if you're collecting an LOB set, you need this card. It's just really tough to come by because not only that, the LOB boxes had wavy and glossy, but Gaia was only in the glossy packs, except for apparently the one the one that is supposedly wavy. But even in that case, almost all of them, except maybe one, is glossy. So if you open a wavy box, you will always get Trihorn. If you open a glossy box, you can get either Trihorn or Gaia. So you get Gaia a lot less than you get Trihorn. So that makes it a little bit more of a rare item. And then you have to also grade it and just not many LOB Gaia boxes being opened. And even if you do, like I did, you might not get the secret rare. So this is a pretty desirable card, pretty awesome. I really liked it, I wanted to keep it, but this trade came up and it had a few cards in it that I really, really want. And I can't wait for you guys to see. So that's the little intro for Gaia. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna have already shipped this out. I'm gonna have received the other package by the time you see the next clip and let me know what you guys think about it. I'm really excited for it. All right, guys. Here it is, the package is here. Our trade for the guy, the Dragon Champion. So we're gonna open this thing up. We're gonna see what I got in return for that epic card. I'm pretty excited about this. So let's go ahead and cut this open. It's gonna be pretty tough because it's almost exactly as big as the space I have right here. So we're probably gonna mess something up, but oh well. We might have to take it off screen. Inside of here, we have four PSA cards. So I'm just gonna pull this over here. So you guys don't get spoiled. Then we have these let's see what's inside let's start off with we're just gonna go like this four PSA cards so looking good that's what we should have four PSA cards the first of the PSA cards this one was in the four millions is a vampire lord first edition from dark crisis secret rare so we opened up dark crisis the other day but it wasn't the pack that could pull vampire lord so it is pretty cool to get this one. We pulled the other secret the other day, so check that video out, that was pretty awesome. Um, Vampire Lord, beautiful card. And believe it or not, this is the by far the least valuable card that was in the trade. So this is a pretty, pretty cool card. He valued it at $500 for this one, If you, in case you guys are interested in some values. That one was valued at $500 in the trade. Second card, this is kinda like a PSA return, but you guys have no idea what's coming. Summon Skull First Edition Gym Mint 10 from Metal Raiders. So this is really awesome. Graded 45, so like maybe like last year, 2019, something like that. Some scratches on the case, but that's just how it goes. You can always recase them if you want to do that, if you have scratches on the case. Beautiful card. I've always wanted this one, so nice to get this card. This was the most valuable card in the trade. Valued at around 4000 to 4500 That's what his value was on it. Then we have two more cards. Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End, Gem Mint 10 from Invasion of Chaos, first edition. So now I have the ultimate rare as well as the secret rare first edition from Invasion of Chaos. This is a super cool card to pick up. I mean, just check that card out. PSA 10, looks pretty good. Got a little bit of junk on the back, but that is okay. This was valued at 3,600 from Invasion of Chaos. So, so far we're at what? Anywhere from 70 or from 81 to 86, 600 bucks. So that's all for the Gaia. So this Gaia is crazy. It was worth way more than I thought it was. Um, just getting a 10 on that is so difficult. So it's, it's pretty tough. So people really want it. 
Final card in the trade. Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, PSA 10. What a card. Ultra rare first edition. This is a card that I've always wanted. Pretty much all these cards. Uh, Vampire Lord was the least. I mean, I really wanted it all the time, but I've always loved it. So it was cool. The other three I've really wanted for basically ever since I started back collecting in 2018. So this Black Luster Soldier, I've had a few, but not Gem Mint 10s. So this is really, really cool to pick up. This was valued at the same as Chaos Emperor Dragon 3600. So overall, the, the trade was like 11,700 to 12,200, depending on what the Summon Skull value was. And that's kind of just a valuation. It's, I couldn't really find many sales on some of this stuff. So it was kind of tell ex tough to tell exact values, but it was around like a $12,000 trade. Um, and these are all cards that I've always really wanted. So this is really awesome. I appreciate the guy. I don't know if he wants me to name him, so I won't. Um, but the guy who traded me these, thanks so much. I'm, and also, his package is supposed to be there, I think, tomorrow. So I hope it gets there tomorrow safely and everything. But this one got here really fast. We got these awesome cards. So I think this is definitely worth it. Because Gaia, for me, I would like to get an LOB set at some point. But I am very far away. And I've always wanted to pick up these cards for my collection. Just big, iconic cards that are... They definitely have solid value in the future, I think. Especially cards like Invasion of Chaos cards. Uh, I think they have solid uh, potential. The Gaia is so... I will probably never get another Gaia that's a 10. Because even if you find them in nice shape, you probably get a 9. And uh, so I'll probably never get that back. But I think it was totally worth it for this trade. Let me know what you guys think about the trade. Would you have kept the Gaia a Pop 33, one of the lowest Pop LOB First Edition cards? You almost never see them. Would you have kept that? Or would you have traded for these four cards, which you can probably obtain a little bit easier, like Vampire Lord. I mean, it's only a $500 card, so you probably obtain that. Metal Raiders does have higher Pops, like in the 70s, 80s. That's probably where this one is. So there's a lot more Summon Skulls around than there are Gaias. Then there's the Invasion of Chaos, which I think are pretty, they're pretty tough to get right now because, I mean, obviously not many people opening first edition Invasion of Chaos. Pops are lower than these other cards, but they're still not quite uh, Pop 33 like Gaia, which is just insane. So let me know what you guys think. What would you guys have done in this trade? I'm very happy with it either way. I'm, I don't care if Gaia goes to like a 30k card. I'm pretty happy about doing this. So... This was, a, this was a great trade. I don't do a lot of trades, but this was a pretty awesome one. So now I can add these cards to my collection. I'm probably going to do a video involving every PSA card, every graded card. So PSA and uh, BGS. So all those cards that I own in one video. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments. And that's it for this one. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Do this. Okay, you. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, BOOM!